Hey guys, what is going on? Eagle to Jam here. Back. It's been a while, but welcome back to a uh, mod review. Not on Monday, but a mod review. I can't screw the keeping up with the schedule. It's a schedule. Scheduling is good, but you know whatever. But yeah, this mod review is of the Sandbox Mod 2. Sandbox 2, whatever. This ad adds in quite a bit of things, quite a bit of amazing things, which can help you in a lot of ways. Words. Um, yeah. This is made by a guy named Bittle, B I T L. Uh, he's Sandbox Mod 2. He made mods such as the Gravity Hammer mod, the Human mod, Hard Wooden Planks mod, Mob Tools add on for the Custom Stuff mod, and of course, the Sandbox mod. This is version 2 of said Sandbox mod. This ad, this mod adds in a crap ton of things. Start off with the one key thing: the ruby. This is what ruby ore looks like. It spawns at levels 25 through 30, and you can mine it with whatever you want. So I'm gonna use wooden pack pickaxe because I'm in creative mode. God damn it. Okay. You can mine with whatever you want: wooden pickaxe or whatever, and you get an ruby ore. Levels 20 through 35, and you can smelt said ruby ore. Takes you about as long as I think an iron ore. I'm not, don't hold me to that. And when smelted, you get, go figure, it's a ruby. And experience. These are what the rubies look like. This is what you can craft them. You can craft them into a, you can craft them into, the, the, does it not, what? Oh. I'm smart. I know how Minecraft works, and do a ruby block, which looks like this, of course, duh, the background. Ruby blocks are cool for decorations. Whatever. But yeah, that's what a ruby block looks like. You can turn it into decoration over and for, obviously, storage, because, you know, rubies are... No, I, I, one thing I haven't tried yet, which I'm going to try, actually, I didn't think about, I'll do it, I'll do it at, at the end of this stuff, so... Is uh, if, what, how if how fortune affects it. So you can craft them in the basic tools. You got the uh, uh, ruby sword. Same seven attack damage, save as a diamond sword. You can get five at a time. So if one breaks, and also one thing is that in creative mode, normal swords. Here let me uh, normal swords. You can't break anything. Normal swords in creative mode with the ruby sword, you can. And also, as you can probably see, that's a little loud, I'm sorry. Um, I'm not good at this. Is that the texture looks like a normal Minecraft. This is this mod is not affected by texture packs, obviously, because there would be no textures for them. So yeah, so this is normal Minecraft texture, and this is, you know, my normal Minecraft texture pack, which resource pack thing. Um, faithful. Yeah. Anyway, here is a, uh, there, ruby pickaxe. As fast as said diamond pickaxe, stack up to five of them. Less strong, not as durable as diamond pickaxe. So you stack up five of them, which is nice. And they cannot be enchanted. So I think the ruby is a little OP because the ruby sword is as strong as a diamond pickaxe, a diamond sword. And... You can mine them with a freaking wood axe. So I think it's a little OP. The mod guy should nerf that a bit, in my opinion. But yeah. Ruby bow. Something nice about... So you can't... You cannot stack them. Can I be damaged? So it's... It's a unbreaking yes. Just unbreaking yes. It will not... You can't reopen. Because, you know, it's made with rubies. It's not made with wood. Arrows have almost double the damage of normal arrows. If you have full health, you have infinite arrows and zooms faster than normal thing. One downside to all these ruby tools, the sword, the pickaxe, and the bow is that they cannot be enchanted, which you know. You basically have unbreaking yes and in an infinity. In inf infinity and infinity, which is nice. So that's uh blah, 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 blah. is this a... Uh, yeah you're right. game mode. Just watch this. Um, I'll be right back.
Okay, got some mobs. Watch. Sorry, because I don't have any arrows on me. Got to. Ah! Okay, um, yeah, full health. I have six arrows. See, and I can uh, two shot that. I'm just shooting shit off the wall. See, now I'm already out of arrows. These things are ruthless as hell. So it acts as an, an, an infinity bow when you have full health, but when you don't have full health, it acts as not an infinity bow. Uh, yeah, there we go. I'm gonna get rid of these mobs, because you know. And uh, easy slash time set zero. Okay. Ah, I put that away. Just ignore that, this whole mess of a, yes. Okay. Now you have something added in. You got the iron apple. and put this stuff away. Don't need it. Um, that's, where, that's where those arrows went. Do you not burn in the daylight? Do you not die in the daylight? Do you not die in the daylight? Okay, um, yeah. Other than those tools, they added something called a iron apple. As well as a diamond apple. Which iron apple functions as a, a step below the golden apple, which following effects. Region for 14, for 14 seconds. Resistance for 2 minutes and 30 seconds, plus strength for 1 minute and 40 seconds. Which is, you know... Actually, legit, I think it's better than a golden apple, to be honest. Um, yeah, so uh, I'll show you what happens. Uh, see, I don't know why I don't have the resistance hearts, so that's a little weird. The resistance for 230, regen for 14, strength for. Here, let me just. Uh, Grab one. This last e. That one. Clear. And uh, slash game mode. S. Nope. Uh, I'll be right back. Okay. So I have a splash potion of poison two for 16 seconds. I'm gonna self. Oh, of course. Let's get myself down to half hearts, and I'll see what happens. That bug poison and harsh is just harsh. Okay, iron apple. Let's see if this feels. Yeah, look at that. Look at that region. Look at that region. That was some dope ass region. See, I've taken. That's awesome. Uh, yeah. Okay, now for the diamond apple. Craft it with one apple, starting about eight diamonds, and you get this. It's slightly more, slightly better than a golden apple. Let me get back on half a heart, and I'll show you what it works. And, uh, yep. Yeah. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. And uh, there we go. Let's eat this thing up. Look at that. It's a lot of potion effects, and it's speed two, speed speed one. For so it's a good little boost. But uh, yeah, 
Now for some more craftables. Now these are blocks that can be placed to a list of the world. Number one, you have the wooden planks, old, made by taking a log of any type and a wood of any type and putting it around in this circle. And you got, up, uh, yep, old wood, wooden planks, old. Looks pretty good for like, you know, some map builds or whatever. But yeah, um, old wooden planks. Now for the... I don't remember the name of this. Crying Obsidian. Take one take one Lapis Lazuli block and surround it in 8 Obsidian. And you get the Crying Obsidian. Also good for, you know, textures and designs. Looks a little interesting. And you can break it with whatever pickaxe you have. You can break it with whatever, so it's more of a design. Now for another craftable known as the Med Kit. Craft with one stick. One seed and five iron ingots. So, uh, yeah, let me run over here. Get poisoned. Yay, poison. Still resistance, too. Whatever, there you go. See, and uh, boom, you get two hearts. Pretty awesome. Yeah, so you get two hearts from it. Pretty cheap to be honest, yet seeds. I mean, it's finally another use for seeds, which is amazing. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Medkit. And it is now snowing, so let me just uh, get that out of the view. And uh, no, we'll leave it in darkness, so. Uncraftables. You got the two spawners. Prime TNT and the yeah, that's a zombie struggle and the so Prime TNT just spawns Prime TNT. We'll just Prime TNT. Pretty uh yeah. You do a lot with that too. Well so just a, I think it's a half primed TNT. Yeah, basically it's a half primed TNT. And this, both these are the uncraftables, if you haven't noticed. And then something that you can't, you only could usually get with a summon command. It's now available in creative. Ender crystal. Still as explosive. I want to just, uh, yeah. I want to do that. Make that a part of your map. Yeah. So up, uh, yeah. Ender crystal. Okay, now for the a few spawn eggs, which I find they're pretty awesome. Start with uh, start with the giant. You can now spawn a giant in vanilla. Well, not necessarily in vanilla, but yeah, spawn a giant. So if you want to, you know, want to have a giant, the part of your map or whatever, or available for purchase in a server thing or whatever, you can do that now. Also, another thing you can spawn. Oh, oh, oh let me find it. They're, they're, these are. They're out of order. Um, ah, I'll do that. I'll do that one last. The inner dragon. Wither. You can spawn a wither. Hold on. Without needing the four soul sand and the. Without needing the four soul sand and the um three things. Again, these are uncraftable, but if you want these available for purchase, in order to get a nether star on a server, you can do that. That did, yeah. Wither. Okay, now while that thing's destroying the place over there, I'm just gonna can move on with everything. Um, and now we got, let's, uh, Iron Golem. If you wanted to spawn an iron golem without needing the iron and such, iron golem. Let's see, snow golem as well. Snow golem. Snow golem. Oh god, there's the wither again. Let's gonna let's just ignore him. Let's go over here. Okay. Yeah, spawn human. They can spawn with 
Armor, no armor, and miscellaneous names. Bonnie, Barney, Notch, William, miss very random names. So, uh, yeah, humans. Here's the human knight. Spawn with armor, and any armor, any weapon, and they will kill zombies. Now, apparently they don't, they do not kill creepers. But will they, will they kill a spider? Yes, they'll kill sp so spiders. Spider zombies and it looks like um it looks like spiders, zombies, and skeletons, along with slimes. Look how slimes do. So any mob other than the that thing. Yep, yeah. Human knight. Enough the human archer. They can spawn with any armor and any bow. They can spawn with the the ruby bow or the normal bow with any armor again with miscellaneous names, archer Ivan, Archer Sage, different all kinds of cool little things. Yeah. Archer. Now there are also two evil humans you can spawn. The spawn human knight evil, which will go after the humans. Again with any weapons, whatever. And then the human archer evil again same same thing as the human archers just evil so they'll attack you they'll attack humans and they will not attack mobs so kind of like here Brian's personal army so yeah humans now something else you can spawn in which I find kind of amazing all oh, the willows over there let's uh let's just put this guy over here and uh you can spawn in your your own personal ender dragon if you wanted to bring it into the overworld, then that's that's funny that they're go that they're killing each other. That's actually pretty funny. So um, yeah, you can spawn in your own inner dragon, which I find pretty awesome. Because you know, if you wanted to have a ne Nether versus End fight in the overworld, or in the or in the Nether, or in the End, you can now do that fairly easy. So um, yeah. Uncraftables. So yeah, guys, thank you all for watching. I hope you sincerely enjoyed. That is so loud. I hope you enjoyed that uh, mod showcase of the Sandbox Mod 2. This mod is pretty, pretty crazy. If I do say so myself. So um, yeah. Thank you for watching, and uh, yeah, leave a like for more mod showcases eventually.